Yeah, I'm a father. Fathers make some noise. Where you at out here? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Everybody pulling out? What's going on over here? What's going on? What's up? You pull, you change your sheets, my man. What's up? Let's get into it out here. I'm a dad, man. I'm a dad. I got three kids. I got three kids. I saw your eyebrows. Don't do that. No, I know. I saw you. It looks surprising. It, it is because I look like a middle school running back. So I understand. I get it. <laughs> Thousand yards last season. It was a good year for me. You understand? <laughs> trying to walk people down the aisle, man. I'm a father, man. Lots going on. I'm trying to be healthier. Anybody trying to be healthier in here? Anybody trying to be six people? Everybody dying slowly? That's what's up. I respect it. I respect it. I have a lot of issues though, I hate my body. That's what's going on in here, man. I got too much booty. I got, don't look at me. I, I got too much, I do. I don't have the booty of a 36 year old black man. I ain't got that. I got, I got like the booty of a white girl who went to a black high school. You know what I'm saying, like I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? She seen Hustle and Flow twice. You know what I'm talking about out here. Her name's Cynthia, but they call her CC in the streets. You know who I'm talking about. Got an ankle tattoo that says church is chicken. You know who I'm talking about in here. You know who I'm saying, you remember Tasha in high school. Trying to be better, man. Life's going on a lot. I'm in my 30s. 30s makes a noise. Where you at out here, 30s? Yeah, that's a lot of energy. We usually don't sound that good out here. Usually the student loans and antidepressants are holding us down, but we out here. 20s in the building, 20s makes a noise. Where you at? Yeah, settle down. That's enough, that's enough. Settle down, settle down. We don't need to hear about your metabolism. We got it, thank you. I'm getting older, man. I know who I am. I'm a good guy. I'm not a bad boy, but you can tell. I'm not, I'm a good guy. You know what I'm saying? I, I sit down to pee for accuracy. Like, I'm not a bad boy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I shop at Old Navy online. I'm not a bad boy, you understand? I know all the lyrics to TLC's No Scrubs. I know who I am, you understand, out here. Bad boys are different. Bad boys got pistols. They got, you know what I'm saying? They drink hard liquor. I play the board game Twister. You remember Twister out here? You're never gonna find a bad boy underneath another bad boy trying to get to a yellow. That's not gonna happen. Me? I'm a sweetie. I'll sit on your chin and get to a red, you know what I'm saying? Oh my goodness, man. It's good. I'm married too. Married people in the building? Where you at? Who married out here? Okay, okay. You didn't clap early. You're pulling out. That's fine. That's fine. We're moving along out here. Married, man. Love and married. Love and married, man. My wife and I, in the midst of all the crazy, we've been trying to have a lot of fun. We've been doing some new hobbies. We got into two big hobbies this year. One of our biggest hobbies is that we have decided to hate other couples. Ooh! It's been a good time. And I see y'all judging me out here. Listen, we all hate certain things about couples. Can we be honest? We could be honest, we only got two years left to live. Let's be honest out here, you know what I'm saying? Let's be honest tonight out here. There's certain things I hate about couples, certain things you hate about couples, right? Like if I see you out in the streets, you know what I'm saying, and you feeding each other, kill yourself. I hate that, I hate that. You feeding him couscous at a hop, go home, boo, this ain't for you. This ain't for you, go home. I don't like it. I don't like it if I go over to your house, you make me take my shoes off. I don't like that either. I'm gonna do it, but I am gonna pee in your plants when you're not watching, I'm gonna do it. I'm a grown man, I pay taxes. You understand what I'm saying out here? different. <laughs> My wife and I, true story, we had to let go of friendship. We had to let them go. We had, they're free agents. We had to shut them down. <laughs> we have been doing them since college. So we've been on them for over a decade. But last year, October 2021, true story, we found out that this couple, that they shared toothbrushes. Oh. I don't think everybody heard me. <laughs> I said they shared toothbrushes! <laughs> That's an appropriate response, Boston. Thank you. I've been married for 14 years, you understand? I would never share a toothbrush. I put my finger in a butt, but I'm not gonna share. You understand what I'm saying, my man? You know what I'm talking about out here. You know the dirty pinky gang. Let's go, God dog. I said, this is what you want, this is what you saw on YouTube? Subscribe, let's get into it, let's go. Cut your fingernails, fellas, let's be free out here. You understand, let's go. Take your time, I'm in no rush. I'm in no rush, take your time. There's a lot going on, man. That's one hobby. I think but my biggest hobby that my wife and I we got into recently, we started this back in February, is that we have decided to take showers together for financial reasons. And, <laughs> ooh, that's been a good time. Ooh, I'm gonna be honest. And fellas, I need you to back me up. And he talked to the ladies for a second. And here, ladies, please, on behalf of all men in and out the room, if you wanna be sexy, have a little foreplay, be romantic, get in the shower with you, please, whatever you do, turn the water down, cause it's too hot! You know what I'm saying? Thank you, sir. That's all I need is one person to start the revolution. Ladies, you're stronger than us. That's all I'm saying. You understand? A baby can come out of your body. Turn the water down. There's no reason you should have to bathe and boil spaghetti at the same time. Turn the water down. It's disrespectful. That's what it is. Is it real, ladies? Do you like that water that hot? Is that real? Do you like that? Do you like it? Put your hands down. Stop it. Put your hands Stop. I don't believe you. I think you're trying to wash away your sins from high school, and it's disrespectful. <laughs> 
I got third degree burns for seven minutes of fun. I gotta go to work, Susan! <laughs> it's different, man. It's different out here, trying to figure it out. Lots going on, and I, I've been at the game. I respect the singles out here. Singles, where you at? Singles make some noise. <laughs> I said, you put your hand up. Nobody can see you, boo, but I felt you in my soul. I understand. I lean cuisines in that corner. I understand, boo, I got it. <laughs> I respect it, man. The people who I respect the most, though, all jokes aside, is I respect, uh, specifically, specifically I respect single women who still like straight men. <laughs> I tip my hat to you. That's a bold move right there in this new world. I tip my hat to you because you still have the audacity to go over a single guy's house. And that's a bold move. We all know a single guy's house. You know, a like, let me be very clear. Like, individually, one single guy, good person. But, like, collectively, burn them to the ground. You understand? Like, <laughs> like a single guy's house. You know what I'm saying? You've been to a single guy's house. Like, four guys, one fork. You know a single guy's house out here. It's like eight single guys here, no towels. You understand? You know a single guy's house. You walk into the house healthy. You walk out pink eye. That's how it goes. You can't, <laughs> can't trust a single guy's house. You walk in, like, is that pot roast? Nope, somebody just masturbated. All right, I'm out. <laughs> can't trust a single guy's house. I was in Nashville a few weeks ago doing some shows. I walk in, it's three single guys in this one bedroom apartment. I walk in, I turn right, and there's a dishwasher wide open, no dishes running. I said, I'm not gonna make it home. I'm not gonna make it home. <laughs> they had football cleats on the dining room table. Are you listening to me in here? Nobody's in football shape in this house. <laughs> Nobody's in ping pong shape in this house. <laughs> Behind the couch, you had a poster that just said, gotta catch them all. I said, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> Nobody's catching anything except mono in here. I gotta leave today, you understand? <laughs> Can't trust a single guy's house. But I'm, I'm, I'm in my 30s, man. I'm 35 out here. I know who I am, that's for sure. I'm a sweet connoisseur. Anybody got a sweet tooth in here? Make sure you got a sweet tooth. Ooh, I love good sweets. And let's be honest, this, it's a new world. I love a lot of sweets, but there's some sweets we need to shut down. There's some sweets we don't need in this new world that we're going into. Like fruitcake, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like you weren't born in the 1830s, get your life together, that's number one. We also gotta let go pumpkin pie. We gotta shut that down, we gotta let that go. I know demographically I'm gonna lose some of you. Stay with me here, listen to me. Stay with me here. I understand. I understand, I get it. I'm, I'm not even saying pumpkin pie is not tasty. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you can't have two orange pies at the cookout. That's what I'm saying, it's confusing. And I get it, I see you looking at me, boo. I get it, it's confusing. I know, I know there's power in the pumpkin. I understand if there's power, I know pumpkin is a seasonal fruit for white women. I understand, I get it, I get it. There's power in the pumpkin, I understand. You know what I'm saying, I get it. You give a 29 year old white woman a pumpkin latte, a scarf and some wedges, She'll gentrify our neighborhood. I understand. I understand. Look around you, boo. This wasn't here three years ago. Come on now. I understand. I'll say this, man, and get up out of here. I, um, this has been a lot of fun here. I will say, I'm excited. We're out here laughing together, enjoying, you know what I'm saying, comedy together. This is dope. We're moving in that new normal, which is dope here. And on the way into the new norm, I feel like we can agree. This is a nice little PTA meeting in here tonight. I feel like <laughs> we can agree that there's some things we don't need in the new world, right? There's some things we need to shut down and keep in this year, right? Like community pools, we don't need those anymore at all. Cause I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna see you again. Two days ago, I found out that white people don't wash their legs. So we gotta shut that whole thing down. <laughs> Maybe not you find white people here, but your friends on Instagram are disgusting. I'm gonna tell you right now. You know what I'm saying? The bowl of nuts, you remember the air of the bowl of nuts at the bar? You remember the air of the bowl of nuts? This looks like a bowl of nuts type of crowd. You understand that here? You can't, we, a lot of people die eating unsupervised nuts. That's how you get scurvy. You can't trust unsupervised nuts. Men with ponytails, kill them on the spot. That's not even a joke. That's just important to know. They got a van with blinds under a bridge. You can't trust them, you understand? But this is what I feel like we can agree on the most is there's one specific type of person we don't need in the new world. One person specifically, and that is anybody who has an Audi belly button. We do not need them. Thank you, so you understand? Oh, it's, ah, I'm a puke thinking about it. Ah, I'm a puke. It's this, you've seen them at the beach with that little platypus pinky toe ah, coming out. Don't, don't cover your face, you pay for these laughs. Listen, it's disgusting. That little Monopoly thing, ah, I'm a puke. You remember the Salem witch trials when they were burning witches alive? Those were just people with Audis. That's what I say. Statistically, there's four of you in here with Audis and I hope you don't make it home. I'm gonna be honest with you out here. Yo, I'm Damon Sun, I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all been a lot of fun. Enjoy the rest of the show.